Hi, Susan Dillman Stills here to talk about Coachman's Pursuit 27 XPS. What's XPS stand for? Extreme Performance Series. Now, the folks from Coachman have been around for over 50 years. They've had a lot of innovation, and design, and, and, and planning in, uh, they've put into this motorhome. So I think you're going to see that beauty is going to go way beyond skin deep. Let's start up here under the hood. We're going to talk a little bit about what you're, what you're going to be on. You're going to be on Ford's V10 three-valve um, engine, which is going to give you 320 horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque. You're going to have a six-speed double overdrive transmission, and that transmission is actually going to give you about 3.5% better gas mileage than a five-speed transmission. When we look at uh, some of Coachman's construction, you're going to see we're on a high-gloss uh, gel coat um, fiberglass outside. The rest of the construction, both uh, floor, uh, roof, and walls, is going to be five full layers with lots of really robust insulation in between. In your side walls, they're going to have a substance called Asdel. That's going to be your wall backer, and that's impervious to water, folks. Um, should you ever have water in between your exterior wall and your interior wall, Asdel won't break down. It's not subject to, to mold. Um, it's, it's not going to bubble up your fiberglass. There's no formaldehyde. Plus, it's 50% lighter than wood and insulates three, three times better. You get three times, three times better R value. As we move down the coach a little bit, we're going to talk about some of the things that are Coachman's claim to fame. That is their storage. This is just one of many compartments. You're going to see the ladder in there to the overhead bunk. We'll talk about that here a little bit more in just a second. Moving backward, we're going to get back here to just one of three doors that access a huge amount of story in the, in the back. And we're also gonna have magnetic, magnetic latches that keep the, the um, storage doors from coming flat down and banging on your head, get them completely out of the way. Back here on this side of the storage access, you're gonna see you've got cable uh, access, and then you've got a 110 outlet plus an LED light. So as we come around the back, Here's yet another door to your storage, and here is your fuel access, which is awesome because this way when you pull into the fuel pumps, you don't necessarily have to remember which side you need to be on, although driver's side is going to be a little bit closer to the pump, you can still access the fueling from both sides of the coach. Then back over here is going to be your last door to this big back storage area. You're going to have over 80 cubic feet of outside storage on the Pursuit. Again, one of Coachman's claims to fame is all of the great and clever storage that they're going to have here. One of the other things that Coachman's really good at, too, is enhancing your ride going down the road. In addition to twin tube uh, shocks in the front and rear, you're going to have a longer wheelbase. What that does is it's going to help center weight more between the axles, and it's going to improve your ride and weight distribution going down the road. Just makes it a little bit easier and a little bit less tiring to drive the coach. As we move up to the front, we're going to have access to our Cummins 4000 watt generator. Nice compact little unit that's nevertheless going to run your 15,000 BTU air conditioner, which is also equipped with a heat pump. We're going to have our access to our LP tank right here. Nice big hefty LP tank, so we're not going to run out. And then right here, we're going to have just a little bit more storage. Again, anywhere there's just a little bit of a dead space, we're going to have an opportunity to stow some more gear. Now let's move inside the coach to talk about some of the features inside. Susan Dillman stills back inside our Coachman Pursuit 27 XPS. Now one of the halls, one of the hallmarks of this coach is the fact that it doesn't have a slide out room. And some people would say, well, that must mean that you have less room inside. No, it's, it's actually a little bit perverse about, about that. Um, one of the things that you're going to experience because you don't have to accommodate that slide room coming in is the fact that you're actually going to have more room going down the road. And that's one of Pursuit's real hallmarks is that it's better on the road and better in, in the campground in terms of the access and all of the space that you're going to have while still being small enough to get into a lot of smaller places, a lot of smaller campgrounds. You don't have to worry about your width. That's going to be static. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features we have here. First of all, our driver's seat and our passenger seat are both going to rotate around and become part of the living space when the coach is parked. 
um, on our driver's side, if you can see this, we have a great computer desk. It's gonna lift up, come forward, and then in the back, we're gonna have 12 volt and USB um, charging access. So tablet, a uh, little bit of a snack, um, laptop, going to be great access for whomever's sitting here and it actually turns into its own little office space then so lots of multiple uses all in the same coach above me what you may not have noticed is this is a manual drop down bunk now folks even if you're not going to be sleeping guests in your coach it's still a great place to store things because it's going to hold up to 250 pounds if you want to watch me i'm going to go ahead and show you how easy this is to snap down there are a couple of releases on both sides I'm going to pull that one. I'm going to pull this one. And it won't come down on my head. It looked like it was going to, but it's not. It catches. I'm going to push this all the way forward. I'm going to pull this back toward me. And voila. I've got a bunk that will hold an adult. Now, one of the things that will come along with this is a gear net that's going to hook up to keep anyone from um, who's sleeping here from accidentally rolling out onto the floor. The great thing is, again, it's a great place to stow some of your things while you're camped. It'd be a great place to put some totes or some things that you need to store, even if you don't actually sleep someone up here. So to put it back up, we're just going to push and pull and push till it snaps. Done. As we move back forward, or excuse me, backward into the coach, we're gonna have a really nice sofa right here. Great thing about this sofa, underneath a big storage drawer. So blankets, um, pots and pans, food, you name it. Great place to store. And that's not the only place. Both cabinets underneath your dinette are gonna be open for storage. And you'll see this goes all the way back. And the great thing is it's, it doesn't, in some coaches, you have the cushion where you have to lift the cushion up and stick your finger down in the wooden hole and pull everything up. No, this is actually super easy access. Um, both of the legs will come out. Your tabletop will drop down into a little lip under the cushion. Cushions fill in, and this will actually make another small sleeping space in addition to having somebody sleep here on, on the sofa. As we move back a little bit, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the cabinets excuse me, your countertops, talk to you a little bit about our countertops. Our countertops are thermofoil and they're going to be a seamless laminate. So where all of this comes around and normally you'd have a seam right here. No, this is all one single piece. Um, it's going to be fairly stain resistant, really durable, good and solid. Then you're going to have a double stainless steel sink. This is really residential size, folks. I mean, this is going to be big enough for you to be able to do your pots and pans. You get a pull-down sprayer, hot and cold, easily accessed. You can actually touch that with your wrist. You don't even actually have to get in there and turn it back and forth. Then I'm going to slide around this way. And I want to show you a couple of really neat things here. First of all, you get a great cabinet up here, and I've actually stuck a, a pot. So there's plenty of room. You can see that's not a very, not a huge pot, but a pretty good sized pot. Still plenty of room for plates up here. And then right here, this is something that Coachman, again, just very clever use of space. There's a little, there's a little snap. We push this back and voila, we have a little silverware drop down, drop down drawer. So a great place to maybe keep some spices or some bigger utensils. And then this is already divided for our forks, knives, and spoons put it back up we just slide it into place and there it's caught a little bit of storage here under the sink big enough that we can get a real live garbage can under there so we have a, a full-size trash can and you do still have one of your little RV ovens here with a triple burner cooktop and a decent sized microwave in addition to a lighted range hood and one of the things that I also like a lot about the Coachman Pursuit 27 XPS is this split bath. So you have a nice size shower on this side with a really super light material to pull across as your shower door curtain kind of combination of the two. But then you also have separation for what the English would call the water closet or your toilet and vanity still some privacy there but you can still pass through into the bedroom without having to wait for somebody to be finished in the bathroom so as we step back into the bedroom 
You get a nice size queen bed. Great cabinets overhead, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about those in just a second. On both sides, you have a really good size shirt cabinet on this side with an area to, to be able to hang things up, or you could stick a tote right there to stow. You've got night, actual nightstand features on both sides. This one a little bit wider with a drawer. This one just a little bit more narrow. Now I'm going to climb on the bed and I'm going to show you something else that's really nifty about Coachman's Motor Homes, and that is their CPAP station. So for those of you who do use a breathing device at night, Coachman has really been thoughtful about this. We pull this overhead cabinet open. You're going to have a 110 outlet up here, and then you're going to have a port right here where all of your tubes can come down through, and you can use your CPAP without having to try to find a place or take up space on your nightstand. So when you're done, it's all up and clean and out of the way. Okay, so over here, um, we probably we probably noted that we, there is a television in the living area, but we also have an opportunity to put another television right here with our cable port and our 110 access right here. And then this is reinforced to put another um, television mount right there. I wanted you to take note of something that most people overlook, and that is the floor. Bow floor is the name of the manufacturer on our floor covering here. And what you're looking at is something that is going to be slip resistant, cold crack resistant, and mold and mildew resistant. That's key. When you're moving in and out of, a, uh, of an RV, you want to make sure people aren't going to be slipping right away on, on your floor covering. You want to make sure that as you store it, you don't have to worry about it incurring damage even when you're not using it. The other thing to note too in our Coachman 27 XPS is there are, there's no carpet whatsoever. There's no slide, so there's no need for a carpet on a slide transition, but there's no carpet anywhere. It makes it a lot easier to clean up and a lot easier for for those of us who travel with our pets. So those are the highlights of our Coachman 27 XPS. I'm sure you probably have a lot more questions. Please call me Susan Dillman Stills here at Mount Comfort RV.